Hey, this is Cycling Explorer. Today I happen to be on Alum Creek Trail. We had some heavy rain yesterday, and uh, this particular area I happen to be approximately a third of a mile south of Livingston Avenue. And uh, there's a biker, I actually have one picture of him that uh, I'll show a little bit later, where he tried to go through and he got about a third of the way and it was uh, almost up to his knees. So uh, probably about three to four feet deep at the deepest part. I went around the bushes here on this side because I wanted to get shots from both ends. Use the plants as a reference as this next shot happens to be from four weeks ago. You can see how far back the water is. And the shot after that was from last fall and that's where the typical water line happens to be. These next shots are under US 70 and you can see how high the water crested over this trail. Cycling Explorer. I'm still on Alum Creek Trail. This is right after the flood we recently had. This happens to be the 104 overpass here and the bridge that goes underneath. And as you can see, the water line goes up to about where my elbow happens to be uh, a couple hours ago. It was that high and it's receded all the way back to uh, back into its banks now. But uh, basically what's going to happen is the park system is going to come out here and there's typically a guy and a girl. They come out with uh, a truck and they haul along the water tank. And they'll just shovel all this mud right back into the river. And from there, they'll take that water tank and spray it all down for you and me so that when we come through here, it's all nice and clean. So I applaud the park system for that. Well, this is the update from the recent flooding. Thanks for watching. Now get out and explore.